in right. other words. And that's a great model that, uh, and we need that over here. Uh, how do you go about it, uh, Fidel? I know this is a new, uh, you're taking over from uh, past administration of this, and uh, right. what are your plans on how to go in about this? Well, um, Ray, Abelardo de la Pena, who was a past president, did a great job in formulating the, the council and bringing it to where it is today. Uh, my plans are to incorporate a, a wider cross-section to try to break down some of the barriers that we currently have. East Wilmington doesn't get along with West Wilmington. We try to break down some of those barriers, try to get people to become mobile and active. Uh, those people who are sitting home watching this today can very well uh, finish watching this today and then get out and get involved in the community. Uh, our neighboring communities have similar problems. They have gangs, they have drug problems, they have uh, homeless people. We all have the same problems, but only if we get off the sofa, get acclimated, get involved, and become active will we be able to uh, solve some of those problems. Our direction is to incorporate the youth because these are the people that are coming up. Right. Uh, these are the young citizens. These are the people who can make a difference. Okay, and hopefully we have some programs that we're putting together. We're talking about the possibilities of the Wilmington Relays. We're talking about the possibilities, yeah. like Sylvia said, of, uh, of pen pals. We're talking about the possibility of having a public speaking contest. Yeah. We want to incorporate the city. We want the adults to come and see what the youth has to say, and we want the youth to understand that uh, the adults do listen at times. So it sounds really like you have your work cut out for you, really, because I mean, the way I understand it is, there's a lot of groups in women, a lot of organizations, right, and coordinating them to work together for a common goal, and that's to make Wilmington one, it's hard, right? Well, what I, what I, uh, I was uh, the chairperson for the government committee for the coordinating council, and one of the messages I left them with as I departed and took over the presidency was what I call the three C's, and that is to challenge those who have opposing views. Right. Communicate your differences. Right. Okay, and compromise for the best of Wilmington. There you go. I like that. Sylvia, tell us a little bit. You know, I've heard that you have a, a Olympics, a Wilmington Olympics program or something coming out like that. Can you tell us a little bit? Or, or Actually, it's going to be a, a relay type uh, involving a scholastic portion. We'll have, uh, let's say, uh, passing the baton, but instead of in the relay to pass the baton before you pass it off, a combination. you have to maybe uh, a small spelling bee type situation or answer a question uh, on history. It would be something within the child's grade level, something they maybe other classmates have made up the questions and they've studied them and so they'll be prepared. Uh, we're out for win-win. We're right. not out to okay, let anyone good. fail. Right. Juanita, you know, I know last year you were the, uh, in charge of programs and you were really instrumental in uh, you were the glue that stuck together so that the so that the Wilmington burrito could get uh, coordinated and turn out to be a, such a success. I know I'm, uh, you know that. Uh, tell us how you did it. I mean, I, you 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 really took on a lot of work in your hands coordinating everybody to make it such a success. What are you going to do for this year? In other words, are you going to make a bigger burrito? We we're deciding what we're going to do, but we need to involve the community in the right. same numbers that we did before. It was such a positive event in the whole Wilmington. The numbers of people from the community that came to event was overwhelming. Uh, we were delighted to see our community work together under one event. We're looking forward to another event of the same quality. That's, that reminds me now, you are having uh, your new meeting now, your meeting for the, it's going to be August 11th, right? Uh, right. August 11th of, uh, it's a Tuesday, Tuesday. and it's going to be being held at the Wilmington uh, Boys and Girls Club over on Q and Frigate, right? Right. At and uh, that's where, now, you, you want to invite some new members? Tell us about what it takes to be a member, uh, a member of this Wilmington Coordinating Council in case some of our viewers would like to uh, join. Well, um, to become a member of the Coordinating Council is really simple. It's that first of all, you have to be um, civic-minded. You have to be uh, wanting to make, create change for the, for the positive. And we do have applications that you fill out. And we have a category that you would fit in. A resident can just be a citizen, and that's a fee. If you're a business owner, uh, that's another fee. If you belong to uh, a particular service organization, that's another fee. But uh, it's very simple to join. We have a post office box, and you uh, 
can uh, write us and we will give you the information. That Currently, Joe Alagon is our membership drive person. Uh -huh. Also, you have other committees, too. In other words, the Government Coordinating Council has some committees. In other words, you have an education committee, right? And you have a government committee. Mm -hmm. And you have uh, what other committees that you have that are the uh, voter registration committee? Yes, we have uh, what would be called our civics committee, our education committee, our government committee. Um, we have a membership committee. We have um, Juanita help me out here. What else do we have? Programs, programs committee, right. membership I, committee, why, membership. Why committee, right? Yeah, right. So you have a lot of you know, these are committees that are all uh, in place, in place, yes. and they are functioning towards the better of Wilmington and create, creating some activities. In other words, right? Right. right. Basically, and we can always use more members on any of these committees. committees. We right. welcome everyone's participation. It's you I mean, know we're trying to make Wilmington one, mm. and we're not pretending to be leaders. We're just trying to bring everyone together, right. and, and right. let's let's move forward. Well, that is a form of leadership, though. It's green, and, and and I know that you want to tell the community that you want to you you inviting them to become members, right? Right. And they could come over and to the next meeting, which will right. be I'll, I'll repeat that again. It's August 11th. That's uh, on a Tuesday, and it's at what at 12 o'clock. 12 o'clock. 12 o'clock, and it's a luncheon, right? Thank and it's you. a luncheon, and they'll be over at the Wilmington Boys and Girls Club, and which is at the corner of Q and Frigate. Right. Frigate mm. or Figueroa? Figueroa. 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 I'm Figueroa. sorry. Q and Figueroa. And now we have a Wilmington, uh, we have also a post, post office box number that they can write to, right? Yes. Wilmington uh, post office box uh, 333. 333, and it's in care of the Wilmington Coordinating Council, awesome, Wilmington yes. post office box 333. And uh, they can write and uh, find out any information on that, right? Not, yes, that's also 90748. 90748. Right. So for those of you that are interested, uh, you'll see it on the screen right now. It's the Wilmington Coordinating Council, P.O. Box 333, Wilmington, California, 90744. Great. Okay. Well, you know, it's been a pleasure. And uh, I know that the Wilmington Coordinating Council is going uh, is gonna to do a lot, of, uh, a lot more activities for, for, for Wilmington. You Positive know, things. Positive things. Are you going to, has anybody challenged you for the uh, Wilmington Burrito now? I mean, is anybody else going to be? Because it's, I know you, you made the world's uh, uh, Guinness Book of World Record, right? For the biggest, longest burrito. Now you're going to, what, are you going to build the hottest burrito or what? <laughs> well, that's still in the planning stage. It's still in the planning now, but it's, it's something to look forward to, right? It's in the planning, and we're keeping a, a tight lid on the secret. On the secret. And, and if right. anyone would care to challenge us, we would love to meet their challenge. If they can set a, a new record, We'd like to beat it, too. It, it is. You know, in other words, uh, and you're taking over. I congratulate you on taking over this thing, this, this, uh, the helms of this World Coordinating Council, you know. And uh, you do have your work cut out for you over here. Right. But it's, it's a rewarding and a fulfilling uh, 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 feeling, right, in it? Well, one that of you're doing something for Wilmington? Yes. One of the things that I, I said to Abelardo as he left, uh, and I, meant, I, I mentioned to the, the people there at the time, was that uh, in Albalardo, we had a, a, a leader who had a, a lot of himself in Wilmington and a lot of Wilmington in him. And we hope to be able to grow with people like that. I, I would like to consider myself one of those type people and the coordinating council. Are those well, he's, he's left big footprints for you to fill mm -hmm. in, right? In other words, what you're saying, right? Abelardo, and we thank Abelardo for having done all this work for Wilmington that he has and everything. What I'd like to do now then, and, and thank you very much for, and uh, uh, we'll, we'll be uh, making sure that we go to the meeting over there and that some more uh, people join. What we'd like to do now is continue on with the, uh, the other part of our show. We're showing our talent over here, as you know. And uh, the, our next uh, performer is Irene Toll, and she is a folk singer, and she's going to sing us song, some, uh, play, play guitar over here and sing us some songs by uh, Linda Ronstadt, right? Okay, le let's give Irene a warm round of applause, Irene. Well, the sun is slowly sinking down. This old world must still be spinning round And I still love you So close your eyes You can close your eyes, it's alright Well I don't know no love songs 
But I can't sing the blues anymore But I can sing this song And you can sing this song when I'm gone Now it won't be long before another day We're gonna have a good time And no one's gonna take that time away Stay for as long as you like So close